this is the follow-up video that shows how we're going to get this Bluetooth module talking to Droid Planner. This video is going to walk through uh, setting up the baud rate to communicate with Droid Planner because by default it comes at 9600 baud. Okay, but before I dive into the setup, I want to share some great comments from you guys. It seems like you, uh, several of you have been down this path before. Okay, I'm going to start with Jaren's. He was nice enough to suggest how to uh, set the baud rate for this Bluetooth module. So we're going to do that here shortly. Then another suggestion from Wham Fox, and this is pretty awesome. Uh, he suggested checking out this Kickstarter project. And this project is made by these Event 38 guys, and it's a Bluetooth bridge for your APM telemetry. And it's all encompassing, so it has not only uh, your Bluetooth module, but your modules to do telemetry with your APM. So a very simplified setup. Unfortunately, it's not going to be available till I believe February and it looks like it's going to be around $140. Okay and Nelson Lee has suggested that uh, I can root my device and give that a try. Now I actually watched a video with a guy. I have a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch and I've read uh, numerous reports that it's not possible so uh, Nelson has done this with his note too, so maybe I'll give that a try in a few weeks. And there have been several posts about needing the right uh, OTG cable, the right on-the-go cable. Chris was nice enough to share this link, but it shows that the cable works, but it does not work. Let's see. Uh, it says right here, there's false reports that the Tab Galaxy Tab 7-inch supports this feature, but it's already verified many, by many users that it doesn't. So uh, I, I guess I might be one of those users that does it. Now, I haven't done the root, root kit yet. So like I said, this is uh, what I know to date. So once again, thank you guys. Great suggestions and definitely learning a lot. And I hope you are as well. OK, so what I have here is my module and then an FTDI cable. It's always good to have one of these guys laying around. So uh, what I've gone ahead and done is just for my own benefit, because sometimes wiring these things up can get a little uh, tricky, especially when you have TX and RX. What I've done is I've put the diagram. So you can see over here that green is going to be our receive, orange is going to be our transmit, red is 5 volts, black is ground, and those are going to go to these corresponding pins. RX, of course, goes to TX and vice versa, and that's how we're going to wire up this Bluetooth module. So the great thing about this little guy, once again, $14 off of Amazon through a Amazon marketplace seller, I believe, called Virtua Botics. I'll, I'll post their link below. Uh, you get this cable with it. And this cable actually has these uh, flying leads at the end. So we'll go ahead and connect this up. Now this is going to be a quick and dirty solution because realistically, you should only have to do this once, maybe twice. It's not something you're going to have to do continuously. So I'm going to break apart these header pins to be able to connect each one of these flying leads from the Bluetooth module to the corresponding input on the FTDI connector. So the first thing I want to do is get it so that there's equal amounts of pin on both sides. Slide right into place. So that looks pretty good. And now we'll go ahead and separate these. Go ahead and feed them in each one of the leads. Okay, so I've got these straightened out so they don't cross over. Now this top one is going to go to VCC. Next, we're going to do, let's see, ground. Our transmit is going to go to yellow, which is receive. Receive is going to go to orange. And now we're all wired up and ready to go. We're going to take the other end of our FTDI cable, which is this USB. I'm going to plug it into my Mac and hopefully we don't see any smoke or nothing explodes. So here we go. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and move on to sending this some AT commands to configure it. Now I'm sort of a command line junkie, so I'm going to use a screen command, but you're more than welcome to use HyperTerminal if you're on Windows or Zterm if you're on a Mac. So first I'm going to list the devices that I, I can see 
And if you notice this dev USB serial, that's the actual uh, Bluetooth serial module that we have connected. So I'm going to use a command called screen. Now it's important that you also make sure that your device is not connected via Bluetooth. So just something to keep in mind when you're doing this. Uh, I'm not paired or anything like that. So screen and then I'm going to use uh, the default baud rate of 9600. And now we're connected. The configuration is pretty basic but you got to be quick. So for example I'm going to type AT capital AT and then you'll see that it responds with OK. So uh, you have to be fairly quick to do that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy that's our uh, I'm going to configure it for 57600 baud rate so I'm going to grab that and then I'm just going to paste that in there and you'll see that it says OK and it echoes back 576 which is uh, what we can communicate on. Now we can do 115.2, one 115.200, but I'm going to start with 57.6 just to see that how that works. And another command that we can use is we can change the name of the module that shows up in our Bluetooth list. So I'm going to change it to Droid Planner. So I have AT plus name with no space and then Droid Planner. So I'm going to paste that in there. Let me point out one other thing before we pair. Now uh, you saw previously that we set the baud rate and then the name. It's actually better to start with setting the name of the device before you change the baud rate just because uh, you'll have to reestablish your connection. So not a big deal but just wanted to point that out. And you can also set the pin code on this thing if you want. By default it's 1234 and I left that alone but uh, there's an AT plus PIN and then you can enter your four digit pin and it'll uh, reconfigure from the default. Okay, so you can see there's the Droid Planner uh, Bluetooth module, which is this guy. We changed the name. So I'm going to go ahead and pair. Hit OK. You can see we're paired. Here we have the Droid Planner app. Go ahead and launch that and we'll make sure under settings that we have telemetry set to Bluetooth and we want our telemetry speed to be 57.6 which we configured our module for and let's go ahead and connect. Connected. And now you can see that we're constant here. That takes care of our configuration of our Bluetooth module and Droid Planner. Next up we're going to work on getting the hardware side of things uh, figured out and getting everything wired up. I've gone ahead and got this cable ready so that next we can plug it in and power both our module and our 3DR radio and then we should be good to go. So a little bit more work than I originally intended, but hopefully it'll be well worth it. Please keep the suggestions coming, and I hope to update soon with a working end-to-end -end solution. And until next time, thanks for watching.